Now to a local race that is simply too close to call 50 50. The 14th congressional district race still doesn't have an official winner. Republican State Senator Jim Oberweiss leading barely Democratic incumbent Lauren Underwood by less than a thousand votes. CBS 2's Jim Williams. Jim, there are some late developments in this one. Right within the hour, Oberweiss put out a statement. He said he has talked to every county clerk in the 14th district, and in his words, with only a handful of outstanding ballots, it appears I have won a tough fought campaign. The Underwood campaign just responded moments ago. Jim Oberweiss, their words, Jim Oberweiss doesn't get to call this race. The voters do. They are not conceding. In fact, they think that the first term Congresswoman will be reelected. Now we're still waiting for results, and yet I know we're winning. That was Congresswoman Lauren Underwood late last night, upbeat, speaking to supporters. Today she did no interviews. Her spokeswoman saying votes are being counted. The race remains too close to call. I did not get much sleep last night, I'll tell you that. Close indeed, her challenger, Republican Jim Oberweiss, told us. I need your vote. Thank you. But he prefers his slim lead. Well, <laughs> We're uh, cautiously optimistic. Obviously, I'd rather be up 895 votes than uh, behind by 895 votes. Look at what we built together. Underwood surprised many two years ago when she was elected to Congress, an African-American Democrat in the majority white, traditionally Republican 14th district. Then at 32, the youngest black woman to serve in the House. The 14th is a large geographical area. Lake County near the Wisconsin border, west to DeKalb County, south to Will County. A mix of suburban subdivisions and farms. We took a look at north and south ends of the district to see how the candidates did yesterday. In Lake County, Oberweiss, the dairy businessman and state senator, so far has 53% of just over 50,000 votes cast. Underwood has 55% of just over 50,000 votes in Will County. State election officials say 300 to 400,000 mail-in ballots have to be counted across Illinois. It's still being determined how many of those ballots are from the 14th district. So here's the count so far in the Illinois races for the U.S. House. 11 Democrats, 5 Republicans won two races. One in the 17th and the one we just showed you in the 14th are officially, officially too close to call. We're live, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. For up to the minute election results and to stay on top of the still undecided races, so many out there, it's all on our website, cbschicago.com.